New complaints tonight about Jackson County Property Assessment Appeals. Good evening, I'm Laura Moritz. And I am Priya Berry. People fighting for an accurate assessment say they've showed up for their hearing only to be turned away. KBC 9's Brian Johnson is live at the Assessment Department getting answers. Brian? Yeah, Laura Bria, well, deep frustration doesn't begin to describe how some people feel about this process. They say that someone should be held accountable and they feel that the county should explain that it has made some mistakes. Pam Davison says 3 p.m. Tuesday, she shows up to appeal her property tax assessment. The workers are behind. It's a ploy to frustrate people so that they just drop the appeal process. She says they promise every case will be heard Four hours later, they make an announcement. Attention, we're not going to see anybody else today. I've got kids. They had their first day of school today, and I couldn't pick them up because I had to come to this. Tara Gerstner says her appointment was nearly on time, and she's happy her taxes were reduced. It worked out for us, but we just talked to this other couple and not so much. So you don't know, again, who you're, who you're going to talk to might actually care about what they're doing today. I just think it's a little ridiculous that we're having to do all this. The goal is to just touch as many people as, as possible, as quickly as possible. Monday, Jackson County legislators were told most appeals will never see the Board of Equalization. Those are only over the phone. Instead, taxpayers sit across from a paid worker who offers a value on their home. There's generally not a lot of negotiation. Legislator Sean Smith says anyone who signs that stipulation could pay more taxes by ending the process before getting an actual BOE hearing. There have been a few examples where people indicated to me that they were coerced or felt uncomfortable after they signed. Smith says he helped reverse a few cases. He fears the process has been very unclear and inconsistent. The folks who put this in place and then spent all that taxpayer money, they need to be held accountable. They need to be held accountable. In Jackson County, Brian Johnson, KNBC 9 News. Some lawmakers want to know if these issues are rare or widespread. Legislator Smith says he'll introduce an ordinance this Monday asking the state auditor to examine the entire assessment process. He wants to make sure state laws are followed. More than 3,700 people have signed an online petition supporting that idea. Stay with KNBC 9 News as we follow this story every step of the way. You can get updates with our news app and at KNBC.com. There you can also find our previous investigations into the assessment process.